Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, you learn how to create a class. So let's get started. First, click on the Manage tab and then the Classes tab and then the blue Add button. As you'll see in the slide out, there is a lot of information that you have to put in. Don't worry, it should be really quick. First, you have to choose a category for the class. This is a way how you can group the different classes together. For example, if you have five different kinds of Pilates classes, four different kinds of yoga classes, and three boxing classes, you can group the different classes together by their category. If you don't have many different groups of classes, then just choose one category that fits all the, all the classes. Then you have to type in the name and then the description. The description can be anything that is relevant to the class. For example, what your clients can expect to learn in the class uh, or the rules for the class. You can upload an image for the class as well. Please make sure that the image is less than one megabyte and less than 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. If you have more than one facility, you can choose in which facility the class takes place. If then you have to choose your trainers. You can choose one trainer or if more than one trainer teaches a class, you can choose multiple trainers. Then you can type in the capacity for the class. For those of you who are on our gold or platinum package and using the class pass integration, you can enable this class to be linked up to the integration here. If you need more information on this, your customer success manager can help. Then we have our price and eligibility section. This is where you can put a price on the class and choose who can attend. In the single price option, this groups all of your members together. You can give them access by toggling on the eligibility. And for your drop-in clients, you can turn on their eligibility as well and put in whatever the price would be for them to take the class. For the different prices, you can allow or restrict access to the class depending on the membership. For example, I want to let my pay as you go members access and they pay 25 a class. I want my all access members to pay zero when they make a booking, but I want my class pack members to pay an additional five euro when they are making their bookings. Below this, we have our advanced settings. There's a number of advanced settings available for you to customize your classes even further. You can put in the level. Now, the level will not stop your clients from attending these classes. It is purely informational. You can put in the start and end date. The default start date is the day that you create a class. However, if your classes might be running in terms or blocks, then you can put the start and end date there. Or if maybe you're phasing out a class and it won't be available after a particular time, you can just put the end date. Next, we have our email booking notifications. The email booking notification will email you if you toggle this on each and every time a booking is made. We don't normally recommend this, but usually people use this when they're trying a new class to gauge interest. Then we have our private function. This is very helpful if you ever run private classes for special occasions or family and friends. Next, we have to set the schedule. You want to choose the day and the times for the class. You can add a time slot for each day by clicking the blue plus sign. 
You can delete a time slot by clicking on the trash can. You can also set individual settings for each class, for each time slot by clicking on the settings cog here. For example, if my nine o'clock class on Mondays was advanced, I can change that. Or if the location or the trainers were different or if the capacity was different or if just this time slot was gonna be private, I can set that here individually. Once you're done creating your schedule, hit save and the class will populate on the classes tab. So hopefully now you should be confident in setting up your classes. Again, if you do have any questions, do feel free to reach out to the support team. See you on the next video.